Hello and welcome back to the December update, USM update. We have with us uh, Professor Richard Bilodeau from the School of Business here at the University of Southern Maine. He's got a couple students with him. Delighted to have you with us. Uh, Professor Bilodeau, you have two students with you. They both have had you in class. I'm not going to ask them to tell me what they think of you yet. Um, we'll, we'll just start with, to your right is uh, Amy Abbott. She is a senior. She uh, has a double major in entrepreneurship and sustainable food systems or sustainable uh, sustainability. Is that what yep. it is? Great. And you are from Otisville, Maine. Is that I right? I am, That's yes. right. And with her is Adam Clark. Adam, uh, it's a junior this year. You are a double major as well as a business administration and marketing, is that right? Yes. Uh, very good. And where are you from? Uh, I'm Richard? from Yarmouth. Yarmouth, right in the neighborhood. So, Well, let's go back to Professor Bilodeau. He's okay, right? You, you like him? <laughs> yeah. oh, I picked my good. best student. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Professor Bilodeau, you, are, you have pushed forward a minor, which is getting a lot of attention. Students are loving it, by the way. I hear a lot of great things about you. And um, it's something called ICE. Yes. What is ICE? That doesn't sound quite right for a serious well, business school. <laughs> you know, it's appropriate because the winter session is coming yeah, up. Right. But uh, it stands for Innovation, Creativity, and Entrepreneurship. And the minor is really designed to allow students to get a taste for entrepreneurship, what it would be like to either start a business or to help grow an existing business, figure out what a market opportunity is and how they could explore that opportunity. Mm -hmm. But in addition, we're starting to realize more and more that creativity and innovation are important. Mm -hmm. Creativity, and we use Very the frame, important. it's thinking new things, yeah. innovation's doing new things, right. and really creativity fuels innovation. And you know, often students will find in the minor, they'll take a class, Amy's taken the class with me, uh, called Creative Strategies for Entrepreneurs, where we'll meditate and color and draw and so, listen to so music. Uh, let me let's start you right there. So, so that, by the way, you know, people will say, how can you teach innovation and creativity? You're either born being creative or you're not creative. Obviously, you don't believe that. I don't do believe that it. at all. Tell us a little bit about how do you get an, an Amy and, and Adam who are smart, but how do you sure. get them to be creative and innovative? So part of it is just recognizing that our creativity is the function of neurochemistry that we mm -hmm. have. So mm -hmm. there are neurotransmitters called dopamine and serotonin, mm -hmm. and if we can optimize them and we can get back to using the right hemisphere of our mm -hmm brain, mm -hmm. the hemisphere that we used more when we were children, mm -hmm. then often we can reactivate these creative right, centers. Right. And you know, one of the things that's fascinating to me, if we look at the research in the field, you know, surgeons that do their best surgery, mm -hmm. pilots that do their best flying, mm -hmm. professors that do their best teaching, mm -hmm. business leaders who make their best decisions, often what we find is those people are naturally doing things to boost their creativity. Wow. So. so let me jump on to, uh, to, to Amy and Adam on this. Amy, talk to us about kind of examples where you've kind of been able to ignite that uh, neuroplasticity and start to think about uh, things in different ways where you might not normally have thought about it. Um, well, a lot of the techniques that we were taught are pretty simple, mm -hmm. and it only takes a few minutes, mm -hmm. a few minutes a day. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm normally an anxious person, uh -huh. so that's not good for creativity. <laughs> and a lot of these methods. Um, I'm able just a couple minutes when I notice that, you know, if I'm getting anxious, yeah. then... Give me a couple ideas of what, what, when you say some of these things you do, what, what, what uh, decreases your anxiety and increases your, your new synergies? Um, so definitely breathing techniques, okay. I think, help a lot because you don't need anything to uh, do it. Yeah. And before presentations or exams or um, projects where I need to kind mm -hmm. of think outside the box, um, some breathing techniques really help. You know, it's interesting too, your brain will work on a problem when you don't know it's working on a problem. Like I always had this thing in college where I would try to, if I had a, I was a history major and sometimes I had to you know, memorize dates and activities and whatever and you know, big lists of them. I would always do it the night before and my brain seemingly over that evening, the next time that I'd wake up in the morning and I could remember so much of it. You know, so your brain does work for you if you give it a chance. Adam, what about you? Tell us a little bit about how you ignite uh, innovation, creativity inside, uh, inside your, uh, your neurons. Well, I think the group Enactus, uh, I'm part of the Enactus group yeah. rather than the class that Amy's in. Okay. Um, so a lot of things that we do creatively are brainstorming techniques to think of new ideas yeah. to yeah. help um, innovate um, things that we can do to help the community environment yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. and also make a profit at the same time right. Um, right. following the triple bottom line. So right. 
right? You know, and, and what you find with those kind of, you know, with brainstorming, if you're in a safe environment where people are building on their ideas together, you know, in a way that's not putting people down so you don't create the anxiety, some of the greatest ideas will start to happen. I found this in committee meetings where like, I've got an idea and I go into that committee and I'm like, this is the way we're gonna do it. And then people say, well, why don't you do that? And what if you do that? And I go, oh, this is 10 times better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you yeah. know, if you can let go of your own kind of adhesion to your own thinking. The other w word I want to talk about a little bit, uh, Professor Bilodeau, is entrepreneurship. So we have this mm -hmm. view of an entrepreneur. Amy goes out, she has a great business idea, she generates the business idea and she makes billions and she's a great entrepreneur. But the truth is, even if you're working in a, uh, in a carol somewhere in the, in the middle of uh, Indianapolis in an insurance company, you can still be entrepreneurial. What, uh, tell us Abs a little bit about absolutely that. Absolutely true. So we're finding more and more that large corporations are looking for entrepreneurs to come and mm. become the agents of change and innovation within those organizations. Mm. I have spent some time as part of my research mm. looking at what are the types of skills employers are looking for. And I've mm. talked to big companies like Deloitte Consulting right. and Delta Airlines and Coca-Cola. Mm. And surprisingly, creative and analytical thinking come up yeah. often. Mm. And the skills of entrepreneurs come up often. And one of the things that a lot of corporations report, you know, you can train people how to be better marketers, mm -hmm. but it's often difficult to train people how to be better thinkers. Right, and right. so some of what we're doing in entrepreneurship is just really harnessing all of the skills and abilities that are necessary to become a better thinker. Well, it's really, I'm glad you said it. So when you, when you look at the what they call the SCANS report, which is what do businesses want from our graduates? Number one, so communications, collaboration, uh, and problem solving, those are two, three, and four. Yep. But number one was what they call executive function, which right. has a lot to do with entrepreneurship. The ability exactly. to see a project, design a project, figure out what you need to do to get it done. So let me let's start with, with Amy. So do you want to be, do you want to run your own business or, or do you see you adding entrepreneurship through a, a somebody else's business? Uh, maybe in the beginning through someone else's business, but yeah, I definitely can see myself running something of my own. Yeah, adding value in a new way. Mm -hmm. How about you, Adam, are you, how do you see yourself in terms of, uh, would you, do you already even have a product idea in your head, like I think I could sell uh, X and I can make it happen? Not a product uh, necessarily, but I find myself like Amy wanting to go into another company and uh, share my ideas with them first and then mm -hmm. learn a lot from them to mm -hmm. eventually start my own business. Yeah. Yeah, wonderful. Let's finish up, Professor Billa. If you could give any hint to our audience about why they should join ICE and get a minor in ICE, what what are the thing? What would one thing or two things you would tell them? Why should why should they say, oh, that's an interesting concept? I'd like to have it. It will be like no experience you ever thought you would have in business <laughs> school. You know, I between meditation and breathing and playing with Legos and then applying all of our optimized neurochemistry to solve the challenges That's of the world yeah. is a very interesting, rewarding business experience. You get it, you get it. I just want to say thank you to you. I'm very excited about the program. We have thank a you. fantastic undergraduate program. We will always have one. We're, we're, we've got a new MBA that's likely to, to be uh, synchronized with the University of Maine, uh, but our MBA will probably be uh, taught and perhaps mostly mm -hmm. taught by our own USM professors. We're not going anywhere in our long-standing, excellent school of business. So thank you, Adam. Thank you, Amy, thank for you. coming thank in. We really mm -hmm. appreciate your and wish you, you. Well, good luck in your graduation this year thank and good luck in your final year.